Good morning, good morning. Oh, I can barely see you guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, so I'm just going, I guess I'm gonna lead this down here like this. Good morning, good morning. Um, hopefully get some folks to join. Just wanna um, share something with you guys that was uh, revealed to me. Uh, <laughs> really, really interesting. It's, it's, it's almost comical. It really is almost comical. Um, so like the like the title says, right? Good game peeps all game. Good game peeps all game. Um, so earlier today, um, well, let me start. Let's say this. Just because you draw closer to God does not mean that your challenges and trials will cease. Um, I find that all the more it means that the adversary um, puts a bigger target on your back because you're working for the kingdom of God and you're no longer working for him. So just because you grow closer doesn't mean, you know, trials, temptations, things like that go away. So earlier today, um, I was having these thoughts. I was having these thoughts. I'm just going to put it out there. I was having some lustful thoughts. And before I knew it, all of a sudden, I was angry with my husband. And when I, when I stopped for a minute to think about, well, how did I even get here to think about? And I was angry with him and ha was starting to have offense against him for some things that happened back in 2003, 2004. And when I stopped to think about, like, why am I even thinking about this? Where did it come from? God gave me the revelation that the enemy is attacking you right now, Delilah. You're under attack. Not only are the, the lustful thoughts coming into my head, right? But now he's trying to then put offense into my heart against my husband in, 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 in effort to make me believe that the thoughts, in effort to validate the thoughts that I was having. Listen to what I'm saying, fam. It was a double whammy. So the thoughts came, he wanted to keep the thoughts there. And by keeping the thoughts there, he then tried to have, attempt to have me have offense toward my husband. And and what I, what I wanna get across to you guys this morning is, be careful on the things that you think. When you start to have offense, unforgiveness, anger towards someone else, look back like a few thoughts behind that and see what may have triggered that. Because while you may catch that the fact that you're you're being set up um, for the downfall on um, being unforgiven or being offended, you may not catch that original triggering thought. So take the time, look back, discern what the enemy is trying to do and hold those caps, they'll hold those thoughts captive to Christ. Really interesting. And, and now I'm so super excited because I'm like, okay, so he was trying to basically harden my heart. He was basically trying to get me in a fence and harden my heart. But why? So now I'm excited about what awesomeness is coming that my heart needs to be prepared for as good ground to receive from the kingdom of God. So super excited about the things to come today and over the weekend because I know there is a mighty blessing coming to the mighty woman of God. But this message is to share with you guys, A, just because you're saved doesn't mean that the devil is going to stop. And B, when the thoughts and things come against you that you know don't line up to the word of God, look into those things and hold them captive. Because the devil was out here working, but I peeped him this morning. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. I'm like, well, wait a minute. How did I all of a sudden get on Kenneth? I was just thinking this other crazy thing in my head. And God showed me, well, this is what? You're trying to validate the thoughts that you were having. So now you're trying to throw him under the bus because of the thoughts that you were having. You are under attack, Delilah. So take your time, fam. Um, take your time to think through the things that are coming through your mind because there's some tricky stuff coming out there. But like I said, um, good game, peep all game. And my father's game is the best. So until next time, family, wish you guys a great day. To my family in the shot, I will see you guys in the morning. And um, stay tuned in, family, because he's working and you should be too. In the name of Jesus, talk to you later. <laughs>